R-Truth had some of his most amusing moments on Raw Talk. Charlie Caruso and R-Truth were co-hosting the show at that point. With R-Truth at the helm of the interviews, it was easy to imagine things quickly turning comical. In a specific episode, AJ Styles found himself caught up in R-Truth's comedic antics. Despite AJ sticking to his trademark catchphrase, the house that AJ Styles built, R-Truth playfully asked if AJ had also constructed condos and other structures. Understandably, AJ had a hard time holding back his laughter during this lighthearted exchange. Like, do you do condominiums and duplexes yeah, that's a good and question. things like uh, like two, three? What? What are, you, what are we doing? Did here? you not build the SmackDown house? It's the house that AJ Styles built, but it doesn't mean I actually built it by hand. Is today without AJ Styles is what I'm trying to say. That's what I say when I, I so I you didn't build it. Dog, I'm gonna ask you for a card or something. Oh, that's disappointing, man. If there's a trademark of R Truth's WWE persona, it's the comedic cloud of confusion that follows him everywhere. This guy is in a perpetual state of bewilderment, and it's not just limited to mixing up words. Sometimes it's a full-blown comedy of errors. Take the Royal Rumble in 2016, for instance. Our truths music blares, signaling his entrance. He sprints down to the ring, yanks a ladder from underneath, and goes for the non-existent Money in the Bank briefcase. Fans, announcers, and even fellow superstars were all left scratching their heads. Xavier Woods, in particular, was outside the ring convulsing with laughter, wondering what on earth was going on. I don't know why. He's... <laughs> I think our truth thinks this is a ladder match for the championship. In the briefcase, maybe he thought it was the money in the back ladder match, and he's eliminated by Kane. The peak period in R Truth's extensive career occurred when he teamed up with Carmella. Their partnership originated during season two of Mixed Match Challenge, and their evident chemistry led to an extended collaboration. During the transition from Miz TV to Truth TV, the dynamic duo's inaugural guest was Daniel Bryan. Even one of the greatest wrestlers in history found himself taken aback and amused by their antics, especially when R Truth and Carmella spontaneously took a dance break. <laughs> this is outrageous. You guys have dance breaks on the show. Next you are banded from Truth TV for life. This is my chance break! Here we go again! Shayna Baszler, also known as the Submission Magician, appeared on Raw Talk expressing frustration about being sidelined in catering instead of dominating in the ring. Shayna's complaint about catering wasn't entirely unfounded. She went on to gripe about the catering food, but R Truth, in disagreement, praised the fish and playfully accused her of neglecting tartar sauce. This unexpected exchange caught Shayna off guard, prompting laughter and sparking an amusing feud between Truth and Shayna over condiments. Uh, the fried fish they had was pretty good, I mean, if I may add. You probably didn't put no tartar sauce on it. Who? <laughs> what kind of a person eats their fish with tartar sauce? Cocktail sauce. Is used for shrimp. <laughs> Just why, one why, why did I come on here? Are we gonna let's, let's come on? <laughs> oh. R Truth's perpetual befuddlement with the Money in the Bank ladder match is a recurring comedy show. From worrying about a briefcase full of spiders to mistaking a Royal Rumble for Money in the Bank, Truth's confusion has its own highlight reel. However, the pinnacle of his hilarious mix-ups occurred when Corporate Kane passionately hyped up the upcoming money in the bank match to Dolph Ziggler and Roman Reigns. In classic truth fashion, he confidently stepped out, ready to declare his money in the bank intentions, except he wasn't even supposed to be in the match. Ziggler and Reigns couldn't contain their laughter, leaving a dumbfounded Kane to wonder what just unfolded. I conquered my fear in ladders. The truth is going to do in Money in the Bank. You're not even in the match. This, this is on me. Kane, my bad. In the world of WWE, it's like Vince's unwritten law that having hulking athletic giants is the key to filling those seats. The top dog in this colossal lineup? None other than the Big Show. Crossing paths with him is like poking a sleeping bear, but there are always daredevils up for the challenge. 
In one epic moment, Sho went on a face-punching rampage, but R-Truth decided to fake a knockout on the mat. The camera wisely looked away as Sho grinned and couldn't help but laugh. Ever wondered why R-Truth gets to play in the creative sandbox more than other superstars? Well, it turns out Vince McMahon not only likes Truth, but also trusts him not to turn the ring into a circus, most of the time at least. A few years back, during an old school throwback promo between Vince and Stone Cold Steve Austin, Truth strolled in dressed as a Confederate soldier, declaring he was pulling a WWE Universe Brexit. Vince played it cool, but Stone Cold lost it, and the camera wisely cut away as he started cracking up. I'm sorry to Big Jimmy. I'm sorry to Little Jimmy. You ought to be sorry about dressing up like a damn jackass. Virginia. The capital. I've been a victim of a company-wide conspiracy. Ain't that right, Mr. McMahon? In the kickoff of Mixed Match Challenge Season 2, R-Truth and Carmella were struggling, but the fans loved the duo. Suddenly, they began winning matches, proving that maybe WWE finally tuned in to what the fans wanted. The grand prize was a luxurious vacation anywhere, and to Carmella's dismay, Truth chose WWE headquarters in Connecticut. Their escapade to Stamford involved scripted bits and spontaneous Truth shenanigans, leaving Carmella in stitches and breaking character more than once. WWE headquarters in Stamford, Connecticut! Yeah! We the rebels everybody wanna talk about. We stay up all night and come. Hi. Right. Very handsome looking dude right there. <laughs> what is this? What do you... Why are you here? This is the studio. What are you doing here? Go back oh, down. Go back down. Go back hey, down. Go back down. In the covert scheme against him, R-Truth found himself competing in a Money in the Bank ladder match alongside wrestlers like Evan Bourne and Kofi Kingston. However, what made this situation peculiar wasn't the match participants, but R-Truth's entrance. Expressing his fear of heights, he rambled about acrophobia, demanding no spiders in the match or the briefcase. Amidst the confusion, Truth mistakenly referred to acrophobia as the fear of spiders, while it's actually arachnophobia. I got acrophobia, y'all! What? That I'm afraid of heights. Oh, that. Not one spider oh. on this ladder. <laughs> I told you! It's a right. spider. The grit's gonna hit the pan. Brock Lesnar, the Beast Incarnate, isn't exactly famous for cracking jokes in the ring. But every now and then, he reveals a more lighthearted side. Paul Heyman, the mastermind, apparently took a bet that R-Truth couldn't make Lesnar break character. Well, Truth took the challenge head on. During one of their in-ring promo sessions, he barged in declaring he'd beat Paul Heyman in the Royal Rumble match. Heyman quickly corrected him, pointing out that it was Lesnar entering, not him. Truth promptly backed out of the match, leaving Lesnar in stitches, laughing uncontrollably. Big man, you will go flying over that top rope, Paul Heyman. Oh, Heyman? I'm not in the Royal Rumble. Stand back, guys. Leave him alone. Please chill. Chill. There you have it, guys. Times are truth made others break hilariously. Be sure to subscribe and smash the bell icon so you don't miss out on more wrestling content.